5 Tips with Time Warp Number 1. Warp In Kerbal Space Program, you can fast-forward game time by clicking on the green triangles. This can be really handy so you never have to wait, as there's a lot of waiting in spaceflight. Limits are placed on how fast you can time warp at different altitudes. However, you can always warp at full speed in the tracking station or at the space center. You can also control the speed of time warp with the greater than and less than buttons on your keyboard. Number 2. Physical Warp When in flight in an atmosphere or roving across the surface, you can accelerate time to four times normal rate. Be cautious with four times time warp. This is physical time warp and physics is still being counted. If you try to control your vehicle during physical time warp or your vehicle's quite large, Things can go wrong in a real hurry. Number 3. Stuck? If one of your vehicles becomes stuck inside of another vehicle or inside the terrain, warping time for a second and then returning it to normal speed can break these things free. This trick is also useful without gravity. Number 4. Kill Roll. Using time warp can also be handy as it will disable any physics that's going on with your vehicles. This can be useful to stop a vehicle that's tumbling end over end. Number 5. Warp Mods MechJeb and Kerbal Alarm Clock are both really good mods for helping you manage your time warp. They each have some specialized uses, however they're generally useful for the same task, dropping you out of warp at maneuver nodes, or when you've reached other important moments along your trajectory. I recommend using a mod as a warp assistant. If you're going to have a long time to time warp, or you find yourself warping past your maneuvers or your target, it can generally be a nice luxury to have. Thanks for watching! Join me next time for 5 Tips Transferring to Planets.